Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we'll be solving another very, very interesting question from cubic equations. We'll be solving 3x plus 2 whole square equal to 18 square times x plus 1 whole cube for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will write our equation 3x plus 2 whole square equal to 18 times 18 times x plus 1 whole cube. Now we will factor 18 we can write 2 times 9 and next 18 we can write 3 times 6. Then we have x plus 1 whole cube. Now 9 times 3 is 27 and 6 times 2 or 2 times 6 is 12. So we can write 12 times 27 times x plus 1 whole cube. Now 27 is 3 cube. So I can club both the bases as exponents are 3. So I will write 12 times 3 times x plus 1 and then whole cube. Or we can write 12 times 3x plus 3 whole cube. LHS is 3x plus 2 whole square. Now 3x plus 2 in the LHS, 3x plus 3 in the RHS. So we can use substitution. Let's consider 3x plus 2 equal to y. So I will write our equation 3x plus 2 whole square equal to 12 times 3x plus 3 whole cube. Now 3x plus 2 equal to y. So equation will become y square equal to 12 times. 3x plus 3 will be y plus 1. So we will write y plus 1 whole cube. Now I will follow the conventional step. Let us consider y equal to 1 over m. So our equation will become 1 over m square equal to 12 times 1 over m plus 1 whole cube. Here m cannot be 0. Denominator cannot be 0. Now we will take LCM in the RHS. We will get m plus 1 whole cube over m cube. LHS is 1 over m square. Now m cannot be 0, we will cancel, 3 will be over. Now I can cross multiply, we will get m equal to 12 times m plus 1 whole cube. Let me write here, m equal to 12 times m plus 1 whole cube. Now if I will put m equal to negative 1, then LHS will be negative 1, RHS will be 0. So I can write here m cannot be equal to minus 1. Now I will divide both sides by m plus 1 whole cube. m plus 1 whole cube. These two will be over. We will get m over m plus 1 whole cube equal to 12. Now I will add and subtract 1 in the numerator. So I will write plus 1 and minus 1. Now I will split numerator from here with respect to denominator. So I can write m plus 1 over m plus 1 whole cube minus 1 over m plus 1 whole cube equal to 12. Now m plus 1 will be cancelled out. It will be exponent 2 left in the denominator. I will write 1 over m plus 1 whole square minus 1 over m plus 1 whole cube equal to 12. Or we can also write 1 over m plus 1 the complete square minus 1 over m plus 1 the complete cube equal to 12. 
now i will assume 1 over n plus 1 equal to some other variable n so let us consider 1 over m plus 1 let's say n so i'll be getting cubic equation as n square minus n cube equal to 12 take all the terms to rhs n cube minus n square plus 12 equal to 0. I will use method of factorization. So I will split minus n square as n cube will be as it is. Minus n square we can write 2n square minus 3n square. Then we have plus 12 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we will take n square common out. So in the bracket we will get n plus 2. From last two terms we can take minus 3 common out. So in the bracket we will get n square minus 4 equal to 0. Or we can write n square times n plus 2 minus 3 times n square minus 2 square. Now we can apply difference of 2 squares formula. So n square n plus 2 minus 3 times n plus 2 times n minus 2 equal to 0. Now m plus 2 n plus 2 we will take common out. So in other bracket we will get n square minus 3 times n minus 2 equal to 0. Or we can write n plus 2 times n square minus 3n plus 6 equal to 0. So from here I can write two equations. First one either n plus 2 will be equal to 0 and second one n square minus 3n plus 6 equal to 0. So from our first equation we can conclude n must be equal to negative 2. Now we will consider this quadratic equation. I will use quadratic formula. n equal to minus b plus minus a square root b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. a equal to 1, b equal to negative 3, c equal to 6. So we will get n equal to minus b so i will write 3 plus minus the square root of 9 minus 24 over 2 times 1 so 2 so i can write 3 plus minus the square root of minus 15 over 2 3 plus minus i times the square root 15 over 2 Roots or solutions are complex, so we will reject as we are looking for real solutions. So we will reject this quadratic equation. So we will accept n equal to negative 2. Now n was our substitution. Let me write here n equal to negative 2. n was 1 over m plus 1. So I will write 1 over m plus 1 equal to negative 2. Take reciprocal both sides. m plus 1 will be equal to minus 1 over 2. Subtract 1 both sides. We will get m equal to minus 3 over 2. Now m was 1 over y or y was 1 over m. So I will find here 1 over m value. This will be equal to minus 2 over 3 reciprocal of RHS. And this 1 over m is y. This is equal to minus 2 over 3. Now y was 3x plus 2. So I will write 3x plus 2 equal to negative 2 over 3. Subtract 2 from both sides. We will get 3x equal to minus 2 over 3 minus 2 which will give us minus 2 minus 6 minus 8 over 3. Now we will divide by 3 both sides. We will get our answer x equal to minus 8 over 9.
now we will cross check so here i will write check equation is here so let us begin with lhs so 3 times x so 3x is minus 8 over 3 you can directly put minus 8 over 3 plus 2 whole square this is our lhs so i can write here minus 8 plus 6 minus 2 over 3 whole square so our lhs will become 4 over 9 now we will calculate rhs 18 square so i will write 18 times 18 x plus 1 x is minus 8 over 9 so i will write minus 8 over 9 plus 1 whole cube so i will write 18 times 18 and this is minus 8 plus 9 so 1 over 9 so i will write 1 over 9 whole cube so this can be written as 18 times 18 over 9 times 9 times 9 so this will give us 2 here we will get 2 so value becomes 4 over 9 lhs equal to rhs hence our solution minus 8 over 9 is true and verified i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye